Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video. Today I'm going to talk specifically about the ADJ Airstream DMX bridge and how you can enable ArtNet on that interface so that you can use Light Rider. Now before we start I'm just going to mention a couple of things. First of all is that uh, you will need to purchase the ArtNet add-on license uh, within Light Rider to use the Airstream DMX bridge and the cost for that are roughly like £85 uh, for UK and $99 I think in the US. Uh, so secondly uh, it's actually rather painful to purchase that license uh, on an Android device. Uh, the Airstream DMX bridge is Wi-Fi only so there's no USB connection uh, from your tablet uh, and the reality is that it really only works particularly well and it's really only very easy to install the license for ArtNet on an, uh, an iOS device you know an iPad anyway so right let's get started um, before we can do anything you need to make sure that your uh, Airstream DMX bridge is running uh, version 3 firmware and to do that to update your firmware you're going to need to go to adj.com find the Airstream DMX bridge uh, product page and uh, head to the download section and there are two items that you're going to need uh, so right find the downloads tab the first um, item you're going to need is the uh, Airstream DMX bridge setup utility and there's one for PC and there is also one for Mac okay um, you will run into a problem if you've only got a, uh, a Mac computer because the other product you'll need is the Airstream DMX bridge firmware v3 update and that's only available for a PC so you'll need to download both of those utilities the Airstream DMX bridge setup utility for PC and the Airstream DMX bridge firmware v3 update if you download both of those zip files unpack them into a folder you'll see you end up with a handful of files that you can see uh, now uh, the next thing you'll need to do is actually physically connect your Airstream DMX bridge to your Windows laptop using a USB cable um, you're going to need a mini USB cable. Those are, re are fairly uh, readily available. Uh, and uh, you just need to make sure that, obviously, make sure that your Airstream DMX bridge is switched on. If you, The first thing you then need to do is hit uh, the Airstream bridge setup. Okay. Um, and a window like this will pop up. I'm just going to minimize the others just to reduce the background clutter. Uh, and it won't look like there's much going on uh, uh, and you'll, you'll probably see a red not connected message um, just here. Now what you'll need to do is select a COM port. I have no idea what yours will say. Mine just happens to say COM3 but when you choose one of the available COM ports um, you will then see a connected message um, and uh, what's happen happening now is this little config utility is talking to your Airstream DMX bridge um, over USB um, and it enables you to uh, check and make changes to some settings. So you'll see things like for example whether your Airstream DMX bridge is running in um, AP mode or access point mode and that means it will create a network for your iPad to connect to. Um, it can also run in station mode which means that your iPad uh, sorry, your Airstream DMX bridge will join an existing network um, and you can also do both as well um, if you want more details about that I suggest that you have a quick read of the manual that uh, will be in the files that you just downloaded uh, what you'll need to do first to make sure that your Airstream DMX bridge is running version 3 firmware um, is to start the bootloader OK, now this will this will basically kind of restart your DMX bridge um, and put it into a state where you can update the firmware. So make sure it's connected. Click start bootloader. You'll see a, a pop up message that says this will put the bridge into bootloader mode in order to update firmware. The bridge will disconnect from this application. And do you want to continue? And I'm going to say yes. OK, uh, and what you'll hear is your DMX bridge uh, disconnecting from your Windows PC. OK, so and you'll notice here it says disconnected. Right, so I'm going to just hop back to the files that I downloaded and now fire up the Airstream Bridge USB bootloader. OK, uh, I'm just going to minimize these other utilities just so I keep the screen nice and clear. Uh, and uh, you click load file, OK, and find the folder that 
you just downloaded all of your uh, files from the adj.com site to and you'll see an Airstream Bridge 3 which is a version 3 firmware. Click open. Uh, you should also notice by the way that you'll see a green connected message which means that your, your Airstream Bridge DMX, uh, DMX Bridge is connected. Right, uh, so you've clicked load file, you've checked it's connected and I'm just going to hit program. Okay, you'll see the green bar then whiz across the bottom and when that's finished that uh, it will disconnect and your Airstream DMX bridge is now running version 3 firmware okay now the the most sensible thing to do now at this point is to power the bridge off and then back on again so I'm just going to close this app physically turn my DMX bridge off and turn it back on again okay I'm going to close the Airstream uh, bridge config utility and then restart it okay so S restart the Airstream bridge setup so now uh, we have uh, updated the firmware on my Airstream DMX bridge I'm going to reconnect to it again just by selecting the COM port uh, nothing should have changed you'll still see that things like my network name is the same my my password is still the set at the default. Um, at this point, it's, it's worth having a look at what Wi-Fi channel your Airstream DMX bridge is uh, running on and what Wi-Fi channel uh, it's using. Um, I typically don't use the defaults because I found that those particular networks can be quite congested in some of the venues that I uh, I DJ in. So I typically use uh, something like Wi Fi channel 11 and Wi Fi channel 5, and I found that they tend not to conflict too much. Um, so it may be worth you experimenting with those values. But to get Light Rider to work, the really important uh, setting that you need to make is to enable Artnet. Okay, so I'm going to tick Artnet, and that's all you need to do. Uh, the network number 0 to 127 can be left at 0 and the universe can be left at 0. Okay, uh, that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, so um, Artnet is now enabled on your Airstream DMX bridge. I'm going to close the application. I'm going to physically switch off my DMX bridge once more and then switch it back on again to restart it. Uh, and we can just quickly fire up the Airstream bridge setup toolkit to make sure that uh, it has retained my uh, Artnet settings and as you can see there it has okay so that's all we need to do at this point so now uh, I can hop over to my iPad and we can test that the uh, the my the light rider can actually connect to and see my Airstream DMX bridge okay so We've made sure that our Airstream DMX bridge is running the version 3 firmware and we've also ensured that we have enabled Artnet. So I need to now go and make sure that my iPad is actually connected to my Airstream DMX bridge Wi-Fi network and not my home network. So I'm just going to go and pop into settings, select the ADJ Airstream DMX bridge and uh, wait for that to connect and it has. Uh, close uh, settings and then I'm just going to start the ADJ Airstream DMX app. You'll see that that pops up a connect saying that the bridge uh, was responding. I'm going to tap uh, patch at the top right and then patch uh, bridge again at the top right and have a quick look at some of the settings on this page. The first one I'm going to do, uh, go and look at is bridge firmware uh, almost at the bottom of the screen there. So I'm going to tap bridge firmware and you'll see that it says bridge uh, revision 3 which is great news that's what we've just installed and um, Wi-Fi revision 1 and then a couple of other items that quite honestly I don't understand tap back uh, bridge settings. That's about it for the uh, for this particular app. Um, that just helps you to kind of understand what some of the uh, some of the settings are within the ADJ app. I'm going to close that now because um, I don't want to be running two apps uh, that are both connected to the Airstream DMX bridge. Um, I'm going to start uh, Light Rider now. Now Light Rider connects to the Airstream DMX bridge over Wi-Fi and talks to it uh, using a language, if you like, called Artnet. Now, uh, I know that quite a few people 
do get rather confused about what uh, their Wi-Fi connection is and what ArtNet is. Well, uh, Wi-Fi is the way that the your iPad actually physically or you know uh, connects to the Airstream DMX switch, and it's the same Wi-Fi connection as, uh, that you would have to your home router out to the internet, and it's just a mechanism by which two devices can communicate with each other. So two people in a room uh, you know, can communicate with each other because one person can speak and the other person can hear um, just uh, across the airwaves. Uh, two people in different locations can, uh, can call each other. You know, one can, they could both have uh, a telephone, one person can call the other and then they can talk to each other so therefore both can talk and both can hear. Um, however, to be able to understand each other they both have to be talking the same language. Okay, So if you have two people in a room and one speaks English and one speaks French, uh, those people uh, will not be able to understand each other even though they can both talk and they can both listen. So, And uh, Artnet is simply a language that's used um, over Wi-Fi uh, to allow two devices to communicate with each other um, and effectively kind of talk DMX. So as we said earlier, in the real world, as long as you've got two people speaking the same language, they can talk to each other. Um, and uh, within uh, the world of DMX, uh, Lightrider as an app talks Artnet. Um, and we've just enabled Artnet as our language on the Airstream DMX bridge. So therefore that will also be able to understand ArtNet. Um, and that's really what it is, okay? So right, after our quick uh, kind of uh, potted version of what ArtNet is, let's just go back to Lightrider. Now I'm gonna just take a quick look. Um, and already you'll notice if I tap the menu, um, you'll see the Airstream bridge is highlighted. And that's that simply means that Lightrider has put a shout out um, across the Wi-Fi network to say, is there an ArtNet device out there? Uh, and the Airstream DMX bridge, because it understands ArtNet now, uh, has responded by kind of putting its hand in the air and going, yes, I'm here. And so therefore, um, uh, Lightrider and uh, and the Airstream DMX, DMX bridge are connected over Wi-Fi and they're talking the same ArtNet language over that connection. Um, as I said right at the beginning, um, if you haven't been into the settings in Lightrider and purchased the um, uh, Artnet add-on, then uh, what you'll see is uh, a kind of an Artnet kind of pop-up like error or warning message saying that you need to purchase that license. Um, as you can probably see from this, I've already purchased that license. Uh, so uh, my like, copy of Lightrider now connects quite happily to my Airstream DMX bridge. Um, and uh, I can uh, switch to any of the projects and start uh, and start any of the shows uh, that I want to run. Um, and that's it. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Um, it does rather sound uh, rather complicated uh, from the outset, um, but it really is simply a case of uh, enabling, or sorry, installing the version three firmware, um, enabling ArtNet, and then purchasing the ArtNet license uh, for Lightrider just once. Okay, so if you've got any further questions, as always, hop over to the uh, Lightrider help and support group um, on Facebook. Uh, you can also pop any questions in the comments. Um, again, as always, I hope you find these videos useful. Um, and if you do, then please subscribe and uh, you'll obviously get some notifications of any future videos that I post. Okay, so until the, uh, next time, thank you very much.